So 45 years ago when I built my shop these were the lights that I put in. I put in four and then I added one more to make five to light the whole shop. But they're still the fluorescent lights and I'd like to upgrade them to LED. So there's what they look like when they are lit. They're um, I think around 3,000, 3,500 Kelvin. Not overly bright. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I bought these Fight 4 foot LED direct replacement. They're supposed to be 40 watt. They are high output. Now the reason why I bought the 40s is if you buy the 20, which is standard, it doesn't put out quite as much light in, in lumens, the specification lumens, that my current fluorescent does. So you have to go up to the 32s, which is just slightly more than uh, the output of the 40. So I decided to buy 40 LED. And because it's a direct replacement, I should be able to put it right in place of those lights and use my existing ballast. So there's my existing fluorescence again. We're going to swing around here to this one. I'll turn it on. That is dual 40 LEDs. Considerably brighter. I don't know whether the camera can show it, but it's just about double. Plus it's 6500 Kelvin. So apparently that ballast works. So after putting the 40 watt fight lights in that uh, housing, I came over and I did it to that housing and this is what I got. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I went to the fight website and they had a list of ballasts that were compatible. So this is what I got on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of these that they're new old stock. There it is right there. Let me open it up. There's what you get. Got the wiring. Got a wiring diagram right there. We should be able to fix this. Now you might wonder why I don't just put in something that's compatible, uh, like a, a complete new light. But the thing is, I looked, and in four-foot light fixtures, you can get 20 or you can get 32. You can't get 40. The only way you can get 40 is in the retrofit that works with a ballast. So that's why I bought a bunch of these ballasts. They were about $15 a piece because uh, they're new old stock and they're all over eBay. So to get started, I got my lights, got my ballast, got my light fixture, got my electrical box with all my goodies that I'm going to need and tools, and we'll proceed. The first thing I want to do is get this center piece out because I want to see what kind of a ballast I've got in there. Obviously it is not compatible. There was only two on the fight list that were incompatible. So obviously I've got one of those. And there is no ballast. I've never seen a fluorescent light that didn't have a ballast. Hmm. That's probably why it didn't work. My next step is going to be to pry this end cap off. It's a plastic end cap. See what's under here. I'm wondering how they made the thing run. There we go. Hmm. Appears to be a transformer and a resistor, and that must be. I don't know what that is. I really don't. So there may be one down there, too. Interesting. Never seen a light. Of course, I've never been in a lot of them, but I assume they all had ballast. 
Oh, this one has a transformer and a resistor, and that could probably be a capacitor, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an electronic guy. So I just popped the other side off, and sure enough, another transformer, resistor, and maybe a capacitor or something. But that's why it's not working. And that's, this isn't even in the fight list because they only listed incompatible ballast. Obviously, this thing doesn't even have a ballast. Now, looking at this wiring diagram, I've got to take two blues and go to one light, two reds go to the other light, then the yellows go down to the other end and connect on there, and then I've got a black and a white for power. So it's looking like everything's got to be torn out of here and completely rework it. So get on in the kit, get some nippers. So let's see. Power wires coming in right there. Black. There's white. So that's taken care of. Now Probably nip that right there. And the other, get some wire here. Cut that. Cut that there. And uh, get some spare wire here. Cut that. And then, let's see. That gets spread. Like that. Pry that out of there. There. So that's the, the unit. It says that's a number two, whatever that means and there's no markings on that at all. I mean there's a color code on that. Um, it's red, blue, yellow, and brown. I assume you can read it by that. But anyway, we're not going to worry about that. So, next step is to wire up the power to there. So on the other end I did the same thing. I removed that transformer, cut the wires, and so all of this that is part of the system and this is not going to be used anymore. So that will go in the circular file. So got it. Get some ends here. There we go. And a couple wire nuts. And we'll see about wiring this up. So I ran the power wires through one of the holes. And I'm going to connect up white to white, black to black using these small blue wire nuts. And there we go. Now we have power to the transformer. So at this point in time, I've got the reds going through this hole, the blues going through that hole, and according to the ballast diagram, the reds have to go to one side, and the blues 
have to go to the other side. So, just got to get some more wire nuts and wire this up. A lot of work just to get a powerful 40 watt light. It would have been so much easier to buy them, but I couldn't find where I could buy 40s. Maybe there is out there, but I couldn't find it. So anyway, there's that. I'll take a red one. Finally, the last one. There. Now, according to the diagram, that side is all wired. The hardest part of this conversion is getting this back together. You got your wires through there and through there, and you got the hole for the ground and it all has to snap in and with all those extra wire nuts in there that's a pain. So now I'm going to turn this around because these yellow wires have got to come down and connect to the other end. Now to wire this end up according to the diagram on the ballast. I've got to take a wire from each light and wire it together. <clears throat> and then I put a yellow onto that. Get some more. So, I'll take a long one and a short one. And that one and then do the other side long one, short one. Now they're short because uh, they were on that uh, transformer so I can't do much about that as far as length and then get those together. There. <clears throat> That's that. Now I just got to put that cover back on, which is an absolute pain. Absolute pain. Oh, that one went on quite easy. I guess the power wire is the one that screwed it up. So then all of this has got to get pushed inside somehow. Somehow. Well, I'll get it. Like I said, I will get it. It may not go back together absolutely perfect, but it's good enough. So now I got to put that center piece in. And because, well, let me pull back. this center channel never had a ballast it's going to be interesting to tuck this thing in because I'm pretty sure it was only meant to run wires not ballast
going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. This end goes in easy. Yeah, there you go. This end, not so much. Because that's where the ballast is. I may never get it all the way down. Nope. I may never get it all the way down. That may be as good as I'm going to get it. But is it really going to matter? As long as it doesn't fall out and it's not going to, I can just put the bulbs in. Okay. So now is time to get out some bulbs and install them. These are T12 F40. They're F40 T12s, Daylight Deluxe 6500K Vibrant. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as far as a part number, uh, 3600 lumens. Last 35,000 hours. Um, two times as bright. Okay, I, I don't see a part number. Huh. Well, you can find them on uh, on Home Depot. I mean, that's where I got mine. There's the tubes. In fact, you can see the strip of LEDs. All right. So, oh, we got to take this take this sticker off. So, fit that in. Fit that in. Things are a little mangled. That one, that one goes in. This end is giving me problems. Yeah, it turned out it, this end was giving me a problem. All right, so let's rotate this one in. There we go. Now it's ready to go back up. So if this works, I will have saved myself quite a bit of money. And I've built something that I can't buy that at least I'm aware of. Oh, look at that. Super. I'll transpose or I'll put side by side so you can see the difference between the 3000 and the 6500 Kelvin. Really nice.